Peggy Parrish, The Real Amelia Peggy Parrish, best known for her stories about the literal-minded and lovable housekeeper, Amelia Bedelia, wrote many popular books for children. Born in Manning, South Carolina, on July 14, 1927, she developed a love for reading at an early age and even as a child enjoyed writing very much. After graduating from the University of South Carolina with a degree in English, she taught school in Oklahoma, Kentucky, and New York City. In New York, she taught at the Dalton School for 15 years. Peggy began writing stories for her students. She knew what children liked to read, and though she never took a writing course, writing stories for children came naturally. Eventually, she had a few books published, her first in 1961. But it wasn't until 1963 that the unforgettable Amelia Bedelia was born. The idea came to life in conversations between Peggy and her editor about Peggy's observations of her third grade students. Through the misunderstandings of Amelia Bedelia, Peggy helped students learn about homonyms and figurative language. Peggy went on to write 11 more Amelia Bedelia books. She also wrote mystery novels, as well as arts and crafts books. In addition to writing books, Peggy did television pieces on preschool education and children's books, wrote children's book reviews, and led training workshops for teachers. After living in New York for many years, Peggy Parrish returned to her hometown in South Carolina. She died in November 1988 at the age of 61. In 1999, a life-size statue of Amelia Bedelia was placed just outside the front door of the Clarendon County Library in her hometown. Although Peggy had passed away, Amelia would live on. In 1995, Peggy Parrish's nephew, Herman Parrish, brought Amelia Bedelia back into the world with a new adventure. Years after his Aunt Peggy passed away, children were still writing fan mail asking when the next Amelia Bedelia book would be out. Other children's book authors volunteered to continue the series, but Herman wanted to keep Amelia in the family. Since he had been in the fourth grade when his aunt wrote the first book about Amelia Bedelia, he had literally grown up with her. So with the support and encouragement of his four sisters and family, he decided to try to write a new Amelia Bedelia story. When Good Driving Amelia Bedelia was published, readers all over the world welcomed the return of their old friend Amelia Bedelia. Herman honored his aunt's life by writing in its dedication for Peggy Parrish, the real Amelia. Herman has continued to entertain us with Amelia's mishaps ever since including new stories about the grown-up Amelia Bedelia, as well as picture books, beginning readers, and chapter books about young Amelia, too. As literal as ever. Long live Amelia Bedelia. <laughs>